Hi everyone, this is Soumya Jadhasai. Welcome back to another video in my channel. Today's video will be another edition in the company review series. Today I will be reviewing Atlassian. So if you are someone who wants to know the work-life balance, the work culture, the tech stack that is used in Atlassian, if you are someone who wants to understand the entire interview process as well as get the exact salary breakdown at SD1, SD2 and SDE3 level at Atlassian, then you have come at the right place. Shuru karne se pehle, obviously bahut 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 shukriya for breaking the like target of the previous video. The like target of today's video is 1.5 thousand likes. So go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit the notification bell. So without further ado, let's get started. So we will jump straight into discussing about Atlassian, but before that, comment down below Atlassian OP uh, to support the channel. Not only this, also comment down below if you were able to attend my live session that I had conducted over the weekend and do suggest if you want me to come live more often, I'll definitely do that. So chaliye, let's start with the employee benefits of Atlassian. In Atlassian, you get free food, obviously, Everything is included under free food, which means breakfast, lunch, dinner, as well as drinks. Not only this, you also get group medical health and life insurance for you as well as your dependents. You get up to 1 lakh 10,000 rupees every year to cover for any kind of education or certifications. On top of it, you obviously get the phone as well as internet reimbursements, which are kind of standard across the industry. Along with it, Atlassian also gave around $1,000 to its employees for its work from home setup. Now coming to the tech stack, the backend tech stack generally revolves around Java, Python and Scala. Most of the backend code present in Atlassian is generally written on Java. Hence, you will see many a times they, you know, kind of hire for Java developer kind of roles, Java developer kind of positions. Apart from that, the front-end framework is more or less based on React.js. Now coming to work culture and work-life balance, the work culture at Atlassian is absolutely amazing with great work-life balance. Atlassian boasts of an employee-first culture. However, the projects you get in Atlassian will be good, but the scope and the variety of those projects is very limited, which results in lesser exposure while you are working there. With respect to equivalent companies like Amazon, Microsoft and Google. As a result, the degree to innovate at a particular role inside Atlassian is also correspondingly limited. Not only this, it is apparently a bit difficult to get promoted inside Atlassian. P5 is the terminal level, which means SD3 is the role to which you can get promoted. After that, promotions do not generally happen and generally people do retire at this particular role in this company. Now we talk about the company ke location. Ke mein, to Atlassian is located in Bangalore. However, the company has gone remote first which means it is giving permanent work from home to its employees even after the pandemic ends. So that is a plus point for those folks who are looking for remote opportunities in Atlassian. You will definitely find an ample amount of such opportunities there. Now coming to international relocation. Siri Siri baat hai, international relocation at Atlassian hota hai, but the amount with which people, you know, relocate internationally from Atlassian is very less in comparison to Google, Amazon and Microsoft. For example, it is very, very difficult to relocate from India to USA because for that, you would require to be a principal engineer at Atlassian, which is also known as P6 level in Atlassian. And you need to work at that level for one year to be eligible 
for international relocation to USA. However, international relocation to Sydney is relatively easy because it requires you to spend one year at P5 level, which is basically senior software engineer or an SDE3 uh, kind of a role in Atlassian. Now we will talk about the Atlassian ke interview structure ke mein aur why it has a bit unique interview structure. Definitely, Atlassian is one of those companies where DSA ke upar reliance bohat kam hai in the interview structure. Yes, you would have to cross an online assessment test which generally contains two to three questions which ranges in the difficulty level of easy and medium after the online assessment round for an SDE1 based role, you typically have three major rounds. One is the pair programming round, second is the computer fundamentals round and third is the value slash HR round. Pair programming round is a bit different than that of your traditional DSA based round. In this round actually you along with the interviewer both code together. It's not like you are only coding but you are discussing a real life problem with your interviewer and then converting the discussed algorithm into code together. This definitely is something very unique to Atlassian. In computer fundamentals which is typically asked for the SDE1 role, OS and the BMS are super super important. Definitely watch out my video for all the topics in OS and DBMS that you should be preparing so that you can clear your basic concepts which will help you in cracking these interviews. The third round which is basically a value slash HR round which basically is behavioral based questions on five values that Atlassian has. It is similar to the leadership principle based questions of Amazon and I have made a dedicated video for it on how to answer such questions with dedicated examples. So go ahead and watch that video as well. For an SDE2 or an SDE3, the interview structure is quite similar. You will generally be faced with five rounds apart from the online assessment round that is common across all the interview levels. The five rounds generally include one pair programming round similar to that of an SD1 interview, one low level design round, one high level design round, one manager round which will be behavioral questions on scenarios and one value based round which will be behavioral questions around the five values of Atlassian. Definitely the level of interview is around the medium level. The system design part which is the LLD as well as HLD is extremely important for SD2 and above roles. Now we will discuss about the salary structure of Atlassian. Salary structure of Atlassian is fairly straightforward. It consists of three parts. One is the base salary which is the monthly salary that gets credited in your account. Second is the performance bonus which is a percentage bonus of your base salary that you get on the basis of your performance throughout the year at the end of the year and third is the new higher stock grant which is equally divided into four years. Apart from this there is also some additional stock that is given to you as part of refreshers based upon your performance which is generally around 10 to 30% of your initial new hire stock grant. This grant also vests in the next four years. If you're liking the content till now, then do hit the like button, share it among your friends and peers and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. The like target for this video is 1.5 thousand likes. So please, please, please help me to smash the like target. This is my Instagram account. Go there and follow me and we will have a blast. This video is sponsored by Coding Ninjas and we have a special message from them here. Coding Ninjas is one of the largest as well as leading online coding learning platform that is present in India. It has a plethora of courses varying from backend, frontend, full stack, ML, blockchain, Android development, C++, Java and whatnot. Definitely all my juniors as well as those friends who have opted for Coding Ninja courses are extremely happy 
with the courses and the value that it provides. One of the recent courses that they have launched is the Life Classes for C++, which is conducted by Parikh Jain as well as Rishav Mahajan. You can get flat 20% off uh, for these courses as well as any other course in Coding Ninja. It will be a weekend course so that your schedule will not be Definitely, if you are not able to attend the live classes, recordings will be available, TAs and live video call support will also be there for your doubt clearance. Definitely go ahead and check them out. The link is in the description below. You can get 20% discount on this course as well as any other course for that matter. Chaliye shuru karte hai. Sabse exciting part is video ka, which is the salary breakdown at SD1, SD2 and SD3 level. So at SD1 level, the years of experience required to be at this role is obviously greater than zero years of experience because this is basically the threshold role that anyone gets. Abhi, the base salary at this role ranges between 12 lakhs per year to around 20 lakhs per year. The performance bonus that you can get at this particular role is 10% and this is the maximum performance bonus that you can get at this position. New hire stock that you will be given varies between around 38 lakhs per year to around 50 lakhs per year. So all in all, the yearly salary at SD1 level varies between 22.7 lakhs per year to around 32 lakhs per year. Now we will discuss the SD2 level. The years of experience required to be at an SD2 level is greater than three years of experience. The base salary level varies between 25 lakhs per year to 35 lakhs per year. The stock that is given at the time of hire at this particular level varies between 40 lakhs for the next four years to around 80 lakhs for the next four years. The performance bonus that you can get at this role is again capped at 10%. So all in all, the yearly salary range at this level varies between 37.8 lakhs per year to around 58 lakhs per year. Now coming to the senior software engineer level, which is also the SD3 level at Atlassian. The years of experience required to be at this particular level is more than six years of experience. The base salary range at this particular level varies between 36 lakhs per year to around 52 lakhs per year. The on hire stock that is given to you varies between 60 lakhs to around 1 crore for the next four years. The performance bonus is capped at 15% at this particular level. So the total yearly compensation at this particular level varies between 56.4 lakhs per year to somewhere around 85 lakhs per year. I have the next level which is basically the principal engineer level also known as P6. Uska uh, compensation breakdown detail is video mein nahi dala hai because the promotion uh, after the senior software engineer level is typically very very difficult and almost no one gets promoted after this particular level. Hence, I have decided not to add that data point here in this particular video. All in all, I would say Atlassian is definitely a very good company to work at. It has amazing work-life balance and great work culture. Free food, obviously, which is one of the best perks of being in this particular industry. Compensation-wise, it is competitive. In the SD1 level, it is definitely quite good. But as you grow through the levels, the compensation decreases with respect to that of the market. Apart from it, the level of innovation that you can expect in this particular company is definitely very much limited to the scope as well as domain of the work that you are doing, unlike the other tech giants that are present out there. I really hope that you like the content. If you did, then smash the like button. The like target for this video is 1.5,000 likes. And even if it's more than 1.5,000 likes, do like the video to support the channel. Comment down below what different kinds of videos you would want me to make. I will be more than happy to oblige to those comments. Do comment down below if you would like more live sessions from me. I, I am more than happy to do it because I really enjoyed my live session. I don't know about you guys though. This is Swami Ajit bidding goodbye. Das Vidanya.